going on everyone? Nick with Renowned Reptiles here. Today, we're gonna check out what's in the rack. These are all my 2017 and 2018 holdbacks. These are all animals that I have produced. There are definitely animals in here that I'm growing up that I did not produce, that I bought from very reputable breeders or great friends. Um, some of those include KV Reptiles right here. This is my favorite couple from Canada. They are incredible people. Um, they have a great YouTube channel. If you're not following them, make sure to go over to KB Reptiles on YouTube, on Instagram. They are amazing. They have great content, travel around to some great shows. Highly recommend it. So let's go check out what I'm growing up for my future breeder stock and the future of renowned reptiles. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm gonna start off by giving you guys a sneak peek into a new genetic that we're trying to prove out, me and a, me and a buddy. Um, so this is the new gene Het for Clown. So you can tell it definitely has a crazy pattern. Its colors are not typical of a normal ball python. And it's got a crazy head stamp here. Let's see if the camera will pick it up. Really cool dorsal pattern. And then all the alien heads are clean. There's no black in them. So this is a new gene head clown. He has produced some babies for me. Um, and his sister is a visual new gene clown. And she had a lady clutch. Unfortunately, none of those results really told us a lot about the gene. Um, and I'll kind of show you some of the weird stuff um, that he is thrown when bred to a het clown female as well as a mystic. So I put it to the mystic to try to prove out the bell complex to see if it was in the bell complex and would make a white snake or have an allelic reaction. Um, and it did not. It threw something weird. So I will show you his first offspring and then I'll show you kind of some of the stuff that I just held on to from the second clutch. All right, so here we have, ah, she's going crazy, chill. So here we have his first daughter. So it kind of obviously doesn't have his pattern. Um, a little bit of his colors, but not as many blacks. A lot of them are more brown. It looks almost like a fire, but the belly's kind of similar with the sides. Um, there is the black in the alien head, so obviously it's not a replica of the father, but it's something weird. She is almost up to size. She'll be ready to go next year. I'll put her back to her dad and see what comes up. See if we're working with the recessive gene, but she kind of looks like a fire, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, but it's definitely not a fire. But yeah, I still think she's pretty nonetheless. And really curious to see what kind of babies, hopefully, that she will produce for me next season. All right, now here is one of his offspring from the second clutch, or the second year, which the pairing was a new gene het clown to a het clown. And I hatched two of these out and held both of them back. Um, kind of looks like a normal clown. Um, it's got a really crazy head stamp on it. And when I look up pictures of a red stripe clown, it looks similar, but not quite. Clowns in general can be very variable. And I mean, I don't think this is an exception. So a reminder, the new gene het clown sister is a visual new gene clown, which, so I know what they look like. This does not look like that. And I'll try to include a picture at the end of the dad and his siblings in their clutch. So you can kind of see what the new gene does. But definitely not the same as mom. Really, really cool head stamp, identical head stamp. And if you remember, dad has kind of a weird head stamp. I don't know if that's maybe a marker for the het that's inside of him or what the deal is, but held him back, gonna grow him up and uh, see how it goes. All right, next up here, we have um, someone that I produced and it is, if she'll show her head, is a super NG female. And the camera isn't really doing her justice. She is golden in color. Um, 
just a beautiful snake and she gets brighter and brighter as she ages as a good inchy should um, but I don't think you can have enough super inchy females in your collection so this girl is definitely a hold back I like her belly as well nice sides she is a great eater and putting on some good size don't know that she'll be ready to go next year but no rush leave the year after I'd rather have healthy moms than moms that produce quickly. Um, I'm looking for longevity instead of the quick turnarounds here. So I really uh, care about my animals, especially the ones that I produce. And this girl here is no exception. So she is again a super inchy female from 2017, and she's in the holdback rack. Pretty cool. Nice little head stamp. All right, next up is one that I have featured before. And this is a GHI, Het Red Exanthic female. And the camera doesn't pick it up, but she has an iridescence like a rainbow boa, um, especially in natural sunlight. But I love how dark she is. I love how reduced her pattern is. And growing her up, I would like to breed her to her identical cross, which would be another GHI. Het Red Exantic. So looking to produce um, Super GHI's Red Exantic. All right, but yeah, she's beautiful. She's dark. I love dark stuff. Um, and I think the Super GHI Red Exantic would really just be an awesome looking snake. And I haven't seen one before, so I'd like to see what it looks like. All right, next up, we have a beautiful snake. And she also has a sister, which I'll show you next. And they look very different. So this is a Black Pastel Mojave Hypo or a Black Magic Hypo. They give fun names for all the codons and whatever else, because sometimes the names just get too long once you start putting all these genetics in it. But she is a Black Pastel Mojave Hypo Possible Hit Genetic Stripe. And she is absolutely beautiful. And I'll show you her sister, and I'm there's a big difference between the two, and I'm pretty sure her sister is at least a head genetic stripe and maybe it's wishful thinking but I'll show you what I'm talking about all right now here is her sister who is really running on me um, but again this is the same thing it's the same clutch and everything this is a black pastel Mojave hypo possible het genetic stripe and she almost has a complete solid dorsal stripe except for this little mark right here where there's a break um, but her sides are absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this thing. Just gorgeous. All right, so there you go. A Black Pastel Mojave Hypo and the whole back rack. Camera, again, is not doing her justice. She is bright and beautiful. A lot more yellow, I believe, than what's being picked up here. Here she is. All right, now we are on to the 2018 holdback. So... Here we have just a leopard spot nose, 50% het for pied. When she was born, she had a little bump right here next to her eye. And I didn't want to sell her. It didn't cause her any pain, didn't grow. Um, and so I didn't want to sell her like that. So I just put her in the keep rack and figured I'd raise her up. Uh, took her to a vet. The vet said it was benign, it was nothing. Could have surgery, but it's not impacting the snake at all. She was eating fine. So I just kept her and said, you know, I'll just hold her back and she can be a pet pet snake that I keep and then the little whatever it was on the side shrunk and it's gone and so now she's just here put all this time and love and effort into her she's actually a really nice snake when she holds still um, but yeah it's just a leopard spot nose 50% hip pie all right next up for the 2018 holdbacks the meanest snake in my collection this tiny little thing Meanest snake in my collection. Um, so she is a fire inchy cinnamon. Just gorgeous. I love her colors, love her pattern. I'll probably get bit at least one time while doing this since I'm looking through the camera and not at the snake itself. But I love her contrast. She's got really nice cream colors. Um, love the sides on this girl. Her dorsal stripe. Um, oh, 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 easy, easy. Her dorsal stripe almost has a pink color to it. It's a pink hue in there. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. Produced her earlier in the year, in 2018. And she made it to the hold back rack. 
and I'm happy she's here. She eats really well, and she only bites me sometimes. So, still like her. You're all right. All right, next up, we have a leopard. Yes, just a leopard, het for clown. Um, she was an ex exceptional example of a leopard. Um, I, the het clown does have a little bit of an influence on it, but she is gorgeous. When she was coming out of the egg, I actually thought she was a leopard spot nose. Um, she'll probably tag me one or two times. She's one of the one of the friendly ones. Um, but she and her sister were just incredible. Great pattern, high contrast, deep blacks. Just you can really tell that if, you know some leopards look kind of close to a normal at times. Where this one, you can definitely tell that is not a normal ball python. This is just a leopard head clown, really golden in color. She's gonna bite me, um, but yeah, she's in the whole back rack. All right, last but definitely not least, and these are two are something I'm very proud of. Yes, again, these are leopard spot noses. However, both of these, female and male, are het for clown. These are Batman makers right here, ladies and gentlemen. And I started from the ground floor and started to build this. I love the leopard spot nose combo. So it's been a goal of mine to do this project from the bottom. I started my whole collection on a budget to get to where I am today. And so I kind of took that same path with these girls, or these male and female, brother and sister. So this is my female leopard spot nose head clown. And this is my male leopard spot nose head clown, which he will be ready to go next season. He's just around, just under 500 grams. And I hopefully will be producing some Batmans, some Batman combos next season. So I'm really, really excited about that. So just leopard spot nose, head for clown, Batman makers, female and male for my 2018 holdback rack. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my 2017 and 18 holdback video. I'm really excited for these girls to grow up and become a part of the breeding program here at Renowned Reptiles to create some amazing, amazing morphs with ball pythons in the future. Um, stay tuned. Next video, I'm going to post some of the clutch results that we've had already from early in this year. We've had about three clutches hatch. Um, first, most of the first clutch already sold, actually, so I'll, I'll show you a little bit of what was left. Um, and then clutch number two and clutch number three just hatched. So I'll give them a, a day or two to kind of settle in and then uh, we'll take a quick look at all those new babies from the 2019 season. And hopefully, fingers crossed, with some of my females just going late, which really scared me to begin with, uh, I'm gonna have an a, incredible 2019. So stay tuned, lots more videos to come. I promise I'm gonna be diligent and keep on posting. Remember to go like, subscribe, share KB Reptiles. Um, they're awesome people and great for our hobby, especially uh, Carrie. Eh, Barros is cool too. I'm not picking a side. Don't make me pick a team. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Until next time. Thanks. <laughs>